Hello, my name is Damien Hughes and I'm the proud author of the five steps to a winning mindset book. This is a study of the methods of the world's greatest sports coaches and asks how do they do what they do? Most importantly, it's about how you can use their methods for your own benefit. Now I'd like to introduce you to the steps model. We're now going to talk about the fourth word, practical. Now, of all the traits that great coaches use, practicality is perhaps the easiest to embrace. It may also be the most effective of them as well. Great coaches know that our brains are wired to remember concrete data. It was, however, Albert Einstein who said it best. If you can't explain what you're doing to a six-year-old, you probably don't understand it yourself. Now, if practical language is so powerful, why do we so easily slip into abstraction? The reason is surprisingly simple. Because the difference between an expert and a novice is the ability to think abstractly. By definition, experts know their subjects in intimate detail, and it's easy to lose the awareness that we are actually talking like an expert. It can start to feel unnatural or patronising to speak in basic terms and metaphors about subject matters which we may have known intimately for years. And this is the same in the world of elite sport. Great coaches serve as the bridge between those two worlds. They may understand the nuances, but they're capable of explaining it in really simple terms. But if we're willing to make the effort, we'll see the rewards as well. Because practicality ensures that our audience will understand what we're saying and they will remember it. Now the good news about embracing simplicity and practicality is that it can itself be a very simple and practical matter. It's a habit that's easily acquired and highly valuable. So let me explain what makes something practical. If you can imagine something with your senses, it's practical. Now most of the time practicality boils down to specific people doing very specific things. When Fred Smith, for example, the founder of FedEx, the delivery service, thought that the term world-class customer service was too abstract, he simply introduced speed walking training for all of his drivers to create a practical sense of the idea of urgency with which they should treat all their customers' parcels. Practical language helps people, especially novices, to understand new concepts. Abstraction is the luxury of the expert. So if you ever find that you've got to teach a room full of people and you aren't certain what they know, practicality is the only safe language. Jamie Peacock, the England rugby league captain and winner of nine grand finals, combined both of these approaches when he was demanding consistently high standards from his Leeds Rhinos teammates. He told me that all great teams are committed, but what does commitment actually mean? Now, Peacock calculated how many times a year he was requested to run between cones in training, and he estimated how much time you would shave off if you stopped a yard short. He equated this to time in games and realised that avoiding running the extra yard added up to stopping playing an 80 minute game after 75 minutes. He explained this to his colleagues by starting from their shared goal, which was to win the Rugby League Grand Final. If they stopped short of the cone, they'd lose their discipline. If they lost their discipline, they'd lose penalties. If they lost penalties, they would lose points. If they lost points, they would lose games. If they lost games, they'd lose the Grand Final. You run to the cone every time, he demanded. Now this may seem a trivial demand, but it is quite crucially a simple and a practical one which helps bring around important results. Now the moral of this story isn't to dumb things down, rather the moral is to find a universal language, one which everyone speaks fluently. Inevitably, that universal language will be practical. Now my book, The Five Steps to a Winning Mindset, shows how you can do this every time as well. I hope you enjoy reading it.